Theotherapy, and no, it's not an excuse to sit around and watch movies all the time. It is a way to treat a number of illnesses and injuries. It's hyperbaric oxygen therapy, and Sheila McCauley is an RN and program director with CHI St. Vincent Wound Care Center, and she knows all about it and is here to tell us more about HBO. Good to have you. Thank you. Yeah, did I say it right, first of all? Mm -hmm. okay. HBO, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Okay, first of all, tell us what it is. Okay, well, it is a... a a way for the patient to get 100% oxygen. Mm -hmm. They lay in a special chamber, sometimes called a pressure chamber, and that puts 100% oxygen into their bloodstream. They can lay and rest and watch TV, listen to music. A, okay. lot, of a lot of times the patients will come out very much refreshed because they've slept during the no treatment. No kidding, it's during, that relaxing yes. and that easy. Yes. Is there something to get used to right at the beginning, right at first? Uh, just being in the chamber with the door shut. Mm -hmm. That's usually what patients say, you know, oh, you're going to shut the door. But right. after they get there and it's all opened up, then Very it's, much, it's much more comfortable. Right. Okay. But it puts, uh, it puts oxygen, since you're at a different pressure, it puts oxygen into your bloodstream at two and a half times what we normally experience in the atmosphere. Okay. And wounds will heal better when there's more oxygen. Talk about some of the illnesses that it is used to treat. Well, uh, Diabetics that have wounds mm -hmm. that are not healing with traditional therapy, uh, gas gangrene or necrotizing type of infections, mm -hmm. surgical wounds that are not healing. There's a variety of different things. Even the bends, you know, you'll hear people that have been Scooby diving, divers. yeah, exactly, yeah. Or, or flying. It puts a, you can get an air or a gas embolism. It, Which it, can be very dangerous or deadly yes, sometimes. Yes, exactly. So treat that. Exactly. We're going to put some things up on the screen for you. Uh, and first of all, just even bone infections can be treated, right? Strengthens That's, the bone? Mm -hmm, it does, exactly. Like people are probably familiar with the term osteomyelitis. Yes. And so uh, one thing that the hyperbaric oxygen therapy does is it allows the antibiotics that the patients have to take to work much better. And it just gives our body a little boost of oxygen, which it has anyway, but Yes, it but gives it because more. it's two and a half times since you're at that pressure, mm -hmm. it allows the lungs to uptake the oxygen so much better, and it gets mm. into the bloodstream. Okay, and creates new blood vessels yes, even? Yes, ma'am. Well, you know that's a good thing. Yes, also, it is used for treatment of, this is bone infection, of course, tissue infection, which you mentioned a little bit ago. We think of burns and other things like that and sores that won't heal. Correct, yes. Uh, and when you think of them, you think of patients that have non-healing wounds, particularly maybe after a surgery where they've had a compromised flap, mm -hmm. an amputation, for example, they've had a flap over that and it's not healed. Or we think of, of diabetics a lot because of their poor circulation and ability to get the oxygen to that tissue mm -hmm. to heal. They go through just traditional therapy, and if they've not responded and the wound is, is actually that a higher grade, Right. Then we did, they can qualify for for the oxygen or hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Right, the whole, the whole HBO term. Exactly. And these were some of the things you mentioned as well for divers, the bends, as well as uh, if you're in an unpressurized airplane flight, mm -hmm. that can be dangerous. Yes, ma'am. Um, let's talk about how, how it works. How long are you inside the chamber? It's usually you're about a two hours from the time you get there and you go down to the, to the pressure, about two and a half times. What, are, what we normally walk around mm -hmm. outside with. Okay. And so it takes um, about two and, uh, two hours because you're down for about uh, 90 minutes. Right. And what you said they get nervous sometimes about the space. How big of a space is it? I'm thinking of like when people go in for, you know, CAT scans or something in the tube. Yes. Is it like that? It's, uh, it's completely closed. I don't know if we have a picture. We'd sent some pictures, but yeah. I don't know if we have one of those or not. But it's, uh, it's, probably close to six and a half feet long mm -hmm. and quite wide and then it's you can see all outside after you get in and your okay. TV is up in front of you. Okay, so maybe a little better than what we're thinking of oh, yeah. that we see in some of those procedures. And then is this a series of, of treatments that you need? Typically how many? Yes, ma'am. It varies depending on what you're treating, uh -huh. but we could start with as many as 30. And so, for example, if the, the pilot or the diver comes in, they may only need one treatment, but mm -hmm. they need it for an extended amount of time. It may take six or seven hours. So it will be custom to what yes. they need. And then. then also how they respond and how they heal. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, more of the wonderful things going on at CHI.
St. Vincent, and this is kind of your uh, area of the hospital. Yes, ma'am. You talk people through it and, mm -hmm. and help them learn more about it. So if you have any questions, you can always give them a call. That It's in the Parkview building of uh, St. Vincent, CHI St. Vincent Wound Care Center. And there's the phone number for more information if you think that you suffer from one of these uh, problems or illnesses, and it might help you give them a call, and I'm sure that they would be glad to get you more information. Thank you, Sheila. Thank I appreciate you. it. Very, Very interesting. You, you as well. Back in just a moment, this can also relax.